morning, kids. It's good to see you. I'm Miss Myers, and we're going to be making a very special project today. Did you know that you can make an instrument with things you have around your house? Today we're going to make a maraca. How to make a maraca out of an Easter egg. Awesome. All right, so the, what, the things that you're going to need in order to make your egg are something to put inside your egg. This is shaker contents. I'm using unpopped popcorn. An unpopped pop popcorn makes a very nice sound when you put it inside of an egg. You can also use some other things like beans, dried beans. You can use lentils. You can use anything that's small, even little plastic beads that will make a nice shaking sound inside of your egg. The next thing you're gonna need is an empty Easter egg, and you probably have some of these lying around your house. I know I do. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need clear plastic tape. It doesn't matter what kind of plastic tape you have. This is so that when our egg is closed, we can seal up around the edges and it will be nice and secure so that our contents won't fall out. Last, we're gonna need stickers. And it doesn't matter what kind of stickers you have. In fact, if you don't have stickers around your house, you can always just take a marker and decorate it, or you can play it just fine with a plain plastic egg. Awesome, so these are all the things that you need for this project, all right? All right, so I would like to introduce you to my special helper in Credit Kid. And she's gonna be helping me make an egg today. So we're each gonna start off with taking our egg and opening it up. And if it doesn't have a hinge, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and put some of our shaker contents, our popcorn, and put it inside of our egg. Now, I don't tell you how much to put in because it's kind of up to you. Shake it first and see if you like the sound. I kind of like mine. That sounds pretty good. Now, if later you decide you wanna add more or take some out if you want it to be quieter or louder, that's entirely up to you. Next, we're going to take a piece of clear plastic tape and we're going to put our clear plastic tape right along this seam, the seam that you see. Just like that. I think I'm gonna put another piece of tape on mine just to make sure that seam doesn't come loose because I don't want all the stuff I put in my egg to come out. See how I did that? Awesome. Incredible, you're doing a great job. Is yours secure? Awesome, okay. This is the fun part. We get to decorate our eggs with stickers. So, and again, this is optional. My one recommendation is don't pick stickers that are too large because, see, this is a nice little sticker. It's a little butterfly. It can fit around the curves of my egg just like that and be a decoration on my egg. There's other stickers on here too. Like there's this great big butterfly. I'm not gonna use that sticker because it probably won't fit on my little egg. Now, if you have a larger egg, you might decide that that's okay, that you can use a bigger sticker like that, but my egg is pretty little. So I'm just gonna use the little stickers. I found a bunch of little flowers. And oh, this one's cute. This is a bee. I think I can fit this bee on here. All right, so once you've got your egg decorated, your project is almost done. Check it out, there's my little bee. All right, so now I have a finished decorated maraca and we're gonna use it to play some games. You wanna hold it out? The first game that we're gonna play with our maracas that you just made is a game called Simon Says Shake. Awesome, and for that, I'm gonna call back my helper, Missing Credit Kid. And we are gonna play Simon Says Shake. Now there's a several different ways that you can play this game. One of them is by just having you copy where you do your egg. Simon says, put your egg on your head. Simon says, put your egg on your hand. Simon says, put your egg on your shoulder. And so forth. So we can play around like that where you can just put your egg where it is. If you want something a little harder, you can do how many shakes? Simon says five shakes. Simon says two shakes. Three shakes. Simon didn't say. You see how that works? You try to fool people, okay? So we're gonna have you play along with us. Simon says three shakes. Five shakes. Oh, good, you didn't do it that time, great. 
Simon says, tap it on your shoulder four times. Simon says, tap it on your nose two times. Simon says, tap it on your wrist two times. Simon says, tap it on your elbow two times. On your wrist. Just kidding. Awesome. So that's how you play Simon Says Shake. Awesome. Our last game that we're going to play today is play your shaker along with some music. And it could be any kind of music. It can be any music that you happen to have that you like to listen to. It can be um, on your computer or it can be on your phone. But I'm using music from back here. And this is a special kind of music called Latin music. And they use maracas in Latin music a lot. Latin music is music that comes from uh, Mexico or countries in South America. They kind of all lump them together and call them Latin music. So it has a really great beat to it. And we're going to play a special pattern. This is pattern number one. This is the one we're going to use. And each shaker represents a sound. So a big shaker is one sound. Two little shakers is two little sounds. So this pattern would be played like this. Shake. Shake, 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 shake. You can follow along. Shake, 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 shake. Just like that. And we're going to keep that pattern going through the music. So we'll use the pattern marker for a while, and then we'll take it away and see how you do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start our music, and we'll see how you do. Here we go. Shake, 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 shake. This is pattern number two, and this looks a little different. Here we have two little shakes, a big shake, two little shakes, and a big shake. This pattern sounds like this. Shake, 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 shake. And if we follow it on top, it would be shake, 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 shake. And we repeat it. Shake, 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 shake. We'll use the pattern marker again for a little while, and then you can do it on your own. Okay, let's go ahead and start that music again. Ready, go. And shake, shake, shake. You got it. Go. Shake. This is one of my favorites. Isn't that pretty? It's a beautiful guitar. And guess what? There was a maraca in that music. So you fit right in. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you for our next Music Zone next time. Say goodbye.